Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right in corner we have So starting as the orange turn. Bottom left in corner we have Nimpo starting as the yellow Zerg. This is on Odyssey and could be an interesting one. Winner's match, I think well deserved in both the matches. This is turning into a really interesting group, I have to say. Both, uh, I feel like both scenarios could have gone either way. Between the two, I think I might favor So a little bit more. We'll have to see how he opts to play this. I will say that I feel like Odyssey is a, a bit slightly Zerg favored. Mostly, especially if if Nimpo opts to go for two Hatch Mutalists once again, you have that protected third that is much easier to secure as a Zerg player and defend uh, as long as you have air control. I do wonder if that is going to provoke more of the um, Valkyrie and maybe even Valkyrie dropship style out of Terran as games on this progress. Supply Depot being built. Also, I do want to note that Odyssey does have the double gas, but I feel like I haven't been pointing it out as often because I've yet to see a player really utilize it and really uh, do anything interesting with it at any level of play, really. Kind of, I think everybody's uh, anticipating and waiting for that to happen. I'm anticipating a 12 hatch here from Nimpo. Looks like we are seeing a barracks opening for so. I do think this is one of the more challenging maps for Terran. So actually, I might like reverse course and say that I think on a different map, I would favor so, but I think on this map, I actually might favor Nimpo. And actually, it looks like he does want to go for the protected. Well, I was thinking he's going for the protected natural. In base, second hatchery. Okay, and the cancel. Maybe actually I'm going to favor so overall just because Nimpo not familiar with this map. Yeah, he does not know this map. So dropping the hatchery interior to his base there, that costs him a lot of resources to start. A lot of resources to start. Get, he's going to end up getting that two hatch gas a little bit late. And a spawning pool as well. <clears throat> aye, 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 out to chat. You know who you are. When I say chat, I mean a person. And so, recognizing the scenario that this is a very... Like, seeing the later gas and also seeing the later hatchery recognizes he can go ahead and grab... Uh, a command center rather than having to deal with bunker or anything else on the front so saving up a few resources to do so a drone going to sacrifice itself moving forward spawning pool just finishing looking for that command center to get constructed heard the death poor little drone dying in the edge of that barracks so now i'm curious how nimpo's gonna recover from this. We got two Zorglings <coughs> being built. Layer being morphed. Second barracks being added as well. Two Marines out in the field. Looks like they're Overlord hunting. The Overlord over to the north checking out that third. That's unusual because I feel like this was an okay Overlord scouting pattern. Like he sent the Overlord as though it was going up to that top base but still had kind of... I'm wondering what the mistake was there on Nimpo's part to give him that economic hit early on. SCV is going to get pushed right back out. Layer about halfway finished. And it's going to be a three racks opener for so, which is kind of like halvesies where it's not exactly, you can get a lot of Marines out. You can actually sacrifice, and he's starting to move out a large amount of the Marines. One advantage of going this style is, is you can do these sort of aggressive move outs with a lot more Marines earlier and kind of you don't have to worry about sacking an army as much because you can replenish the troop lines fairly quickly Lair is up but again maybe a bit of Nimpo really playing off his game here because he still hasn't dropped that spire so losing several seconds off that spire timing SCV moving up to the north Zergling in hot pursuit I'm not sure whether that SCV is going to make nope does not make it out Second gas being tacked on. I think so. We'll see if so recognizes. I think this is just going to be a. Uh, I'm expecting just a full two hatch mutalisk dedication here. Steam Simpack being researched. Barracks. Pretty late engineering bay as a result of all this. Not sure why I wanted to 
Drop vision there. A lot of Zerglings moving up, but we do have a lot of Marines to meet it. No medics as of yet. And that should give Nimpo something to think about. It looks like, no, he's going to go for it anyway. So pushing in, he gets maybe two Marine kills, and the rest are going to get healed up. Lost a lot of Zerglings there. As there were a huge amount of Marines to greet them, might be able to get a counterattack. But he hasn't dropped the sunken colony out on the front. The Zergling's now trying to retreat. And I think so, yeah, might be able to breach the natural expansion with this. Two creep colonies, but I don't think they're going to be in time. Zergling, six Zergling scrambling. <coughs> Stimpak, they're going to end around. First sunken colony mutating as the Marines are arriving. And this is as Mutalisks are morphing as well. Oh, but no, it's So's holding up. He's not diving in. So, ah, half a second too late. Still might have a shot at this. One Sutton Colony remains. The Mutalist dying out in the air. The rest of the Mutalist rallied to the wrong location. So the natural expansions breached Nimpo GGing, and that was a really off game for Nimpo, especially compared to game one. So he's going to move on to the final match. We'll see so advances. Rough game for him. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's unfortunate because we had some really good games in the opening rounds, but hopefully we'll have some additional amazing matches as we play forward. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.